Hey there and welcome back to Green Juice and Yoga Pants vlog turn YouTube channel. I'm on Instagram, on my Facebook, you can find me anywhere. If you haven't been to my channel before, I'm a nutritionist and a fitness instructor and I'm just sharing everything from spiritual to physical to fitness, wellness, meal plans, whatever it is, you name it, visit my blog Green Juice and Yoga Pants and you will find tons and tons of cool articles where I'm talking about anything and everything fitness. So if this is something that you're interested, please subscribe to my channel so you never miss any sort of fitness related topic that I have. And with that being said, I am back today with a new video. I want to kind of just update you on my new routine. I want to talk all about high intensity interval training, but functional fitness, why is functional fitness something you should incorporate or not incorporate? And also I'm going to be talking about supplements how to incorporate protein powders and meal replacement shakes into your, your diet so that they can help you. And I also want to just fill you in on what I'm gonna be having here at greenjuiceandyogapants.com, how I can help you today for free achieve your wellness goals. So if this is something that you guys are interested in, please stay tuned and thank you for coming to my channel. The first thing I wanna go over is supplements why they have a bad rep, what to look for in good supplements, and what supplements I'm taking. A really great reason to take supplements is protein intake. So something really interesting to note is we all have a number that we weigh on the scale, right? Um, we tend to think, especially girls, like, oh my gosh, like it's all fat, but that's not the case. Some people have access to an Ironman scale or you can go to like your local nutrition shop and they should have some sort of scale that you can step on and it will tell you how much you weigh in pure lean muscle. Personally, I'm 98 pounds of pure lean muscle, which means I need to be consuming 98 grams of protein per day to maintain that muscle. When I heard that, I was like, no wonder I have a, f a little bit of fat on my tummy and a little bit of fat on my arms that I've never been able to get rid of because you guys, my muscle was slowly turning into fat, especially the weeks and the months that I wasn't consuming that protein ever. That's a reason why you may be fluctuating in body fat percentage and muscle mass because we need protein. So implementing supplements into your life is a really, really good idea. There are amazing plant-based proteins if you're vegan, there's whey protein, there's hemp protein, there's pea protein, there's tons and tons of protein. I will link some links in the description box below for finding a good protein powder. I'm also going to be sharing mine a little later on in this video. Another thing I want to talk about is starting your metabolism. A lot of people think that in order to lose weight you have to not eat as much, which is entirely untrue. We need to be eating a lot, like I just said before, you need to be consuming a certain amount of protein a day just to maintain. If you want to gain muscle, you should be having your body weight in grams of protein. That's a ton of food. So we do need to be eating. Um, the fittest people in the world eat all day long and you, can, you know this if you're one of those people. You know that you need to eat a lot and you need to eat all the time and it's kind of a job. You take care of your car, you put tires on your car, you put gas in your car frequently. Why would you not put the best type of food in you or the right type of food? You know what I mean? So you got to be taking care of yourself for you to run the correct way. Think of your metabolism like a fire. So you need to be eating every three hours or you go into a fasted state. It's not a good idea to be in a fasted state because our body notices that we're not eating very much or we're fasting. It's going to store our food as fat so it can then keep that food lasting a lot longer and slowly pull from there versus just burning it off right away or else we have no food and if we're not eating, then our body doesn't have anything to use and we're gonna be run down. So if you are not eating as soon as you wake up, you're fasting. If you are taking five, six hour, seven hour gaps in between meals, you're fasting, thus storing a lot of your food as fat. Another reason why I have been fluctuating my whole life because I never took anything like this very serious. So thinking of your metabolism like a fire means that when you wake up in the morning, note you have 30 minutes 
to eat something before your body goes into a fasted state. So when you wake up in the morning, you should be running to the kitchen and eating something. Obviously high in protein and as soon as you can. Crazy, right? But those are the types of things you need to do to keep your body running as it should and keep your metabolism going. Next thing I want to talk about is workout routine. So your workout routine is super important. I have recently incorporated a lot of HIIT workouts, so high intensity interval training. I'm getting my heart rate up and down with different types of workouts. I'm doing high intensity, low intensity, cardio, and strength training all in one. My workouts are 35 minutes max. I'm in and out, and I notice major results. I'm getting more sore than I was before, and I, I do notice my muscles growing. Not only am I doing HIIT workouts, but I'm practicing functional fitness. Everyone has their shoulder day, and they have their bicep day, and they have their leg day. But typically you're doing one range of motion the whole time you're working out. So you're overworking one muscle group, your biceps and your triceps and your shoulders and your back. But there are so many other muscles, you guys, that we need to use on a regular basis that we need to strengthen. For example, picking things up off the ground, throwing things away, walking down the street, getting in and out of your car. Those are the types of movements we need to do. The number one cause of back injury, you guys, is putting the laundry away. We don't know how to pick things up properly. I mean, just because you can do bicep day and leg day and do heavy weight doesn't mean you know functional fitness. I'm practicing wide ranges of motion. Burpees and lunges and I'm doing kettlebell movements. I'm doing all sorts of exercises that I only have to do like three days a week minimum. I can do it at home, I can do it at the park, wherever. I practice moves that are going to help with my agility, my flexibility, my speed, my endurance, stamina, things that I never even thought about when I would go to the gym and do back day. We need functional fitness. If you want to live a long time and you want to be able to move around functionally, longer than 50 years old, I highly suggest incorporating functional fitness and doing moves that shock your muscles in ways you've never done before because you want to live a long and healthy life. The sky is the limit with fitness. Fitness is a lifelong journey, so don't think that you have to change everything right now. Just be open to new things. I am now teaching functional fitness classes because I am in love with them and I will definitely be sharing more videos for functional fitness so don't worry I do have some blog posts about HIIT functional fitness that I will link down below so you can check out as well. The next thing I'm really excited to talk about is supplements. So before you exit out of this video and you're like this girl's nuts, supplements are gross, listen. Yes, supplements can be very gross and that's what I'm about to go into. Whatever supplements you may have lying around in your house, question it. Did you do your research on that? Did you just buy that from the store, the first thing that you saw? It's super important to do your research because supplements are not like food. The FDA does not look them over, which means they can say whatever they want and put it on the label. So your protein powder might say that it's 15 grams of protein, could only be seven grams of protein. Not only that, Proteins do have fillers, substances that our body does not need. Of course, you're not going to find many supplements that don't have some questionable ingredients that may not be necessary but are in there. Look at the other ingredients. Weigh the pros and cons. Are the pros a lot more than the cons? There you go. After doing my own research and heading down to every supplement store I have been able to find in the last three years, I have found something I am extremely passionate about. And if you know me, you know that I don't really talk about supplements that often or never on my blog. But I found something that I really love and I'm going to share with you guys because of that reason. Okay, so going back into protein intake, I told you that I have to hit like 99 grams of protein per day just to maintain the muscle I already have. So the quickest way to do that is to have a shake. I've heard so many girls say that they're just putting fruit in their shakes and some yogurt and they're on their way. But first of all, yogurt is not enough protein for a breakfast. And two, fruit is just pure sugar. So you're spiking your insulin up, but then you're probably gonna be crashing really soon. And that doesn't sound fun. 
So I have found a meal replacement shake that I'm absolutely in love with. All the flavors are amazing and it's 24 grams of protein. It's plant-based. There's no crap ingredients and everything that's on the label is truthful and I have researched it never even heard of the name Herbalife, but I just didn't really care. I was down to listen and I did my research and found that they are the number one nutrition company in the world. Now it's all over my house. I love their products and I don't think I'll ever stop taking them. So I have my coffee flavored shake and I mix it with this protein powder. And just two scoops and two scoops and water with ice is a perfect balanced meal with all your vitamins and minerals, all the protein you need, less than 20 grams of a little over 200 calories for your perfect meal that will fill you up for hours. Not only have this in the morning, I also have it with my lunch as well just because that's what works for me. I'm not a fan of making my meals all the time, especially if I don't have to. So the fact that I found this is really amazing. So I have two shakes a day. I also am not drinking any coffee right now. I'm just drinking tea, partly because you get more antioxidants from tea and I don't feel that I need coffee anymore and that makes me so happy because coffee is really not that great to me. I just liked it because I love that high I get off caffeine addicted duh. Now I'm having tea from Herbalife. I'm doing half a teaspoon of this tea concentrate so you can have it hot or cold which I love. I have it every single day twice a day which is amazing. I have one with breakfast and one with lunch. Not only am I doing half a teaspoon of the tea concentrate but I'm mixing it with some aloe vera concentrate. This is going to be a lot better than the aloe that you find in stores because it's cold pressed. So it has all the nutrients and minerals that you need from the aloe vera to help you absorb and digest. And I also have a post-workout shake. So if you aren't having a post-workout shake, there's a problem. You can see this all over the gyms. It should say somewhere like drink your post-workout meal because it takes hours for our body to digest meals so after we work out how is that going to help us recover our muscles if you think about it when you're working out you're ripping your muscles apart and then they're rebuilding itself so if you don't have anything instantly absorbed in you right away they're just going to rebuild themselves with what they already have in the body therefore you need to drink your post-workout shake so the better of a post-workout shake you have the greater results that you'll have as well so i won't work out anymore if i don't have my post-workout shake this post-workout shake, Cristiano Ronaldo himself uses. It's 24 grams of whey protein. It has your BCAAs, 4,000 milligrams. It has your L-glutamine, over 3,000 milligrams. And it has your iron, which a lot of us are deficient in. This is incredible tasting as well. You put two scoops in just eight ounces of water, mix it up, and it tastes like chocolate milk, like Nesquik chocolate milk. Mm. So these are the products I would recommend to anyone. Um, if you're a workout aholic, you definitely need the post-workout shake. You need something after you work out. Weight is the quickest when it comes to absorption into your muscles. I have noticed crazy results with this. And then meal replacement shakes are amazing for the girl or the guy who just doesn't have the time to cook all of their perfect balanced meals. Incorporating supplements can really, really help whether you want to gain weight or lose weight. I told you how many grams of protein you need for each. So you need a lot and it's nearly impossible to do through food unless you're eating meat all day long. If you are looking for someone to help you achieve your health and fitness goals, whether you want to lose weight, you just want to feel better, you want to think more positive, you want to feel better, you want to wake up in the morning and not snooze your alarm a hundred thousand times. It's time for you to get a coach and I think I might be a great match for you. I have a free wellness evaluation I do. It takes about an hour. I put you on a scale. I break down all your measurements. I ask you what you're eating. I figure out what you want from me and then we decide from there if I'm a good fit for you or not. I do work closely with a supplement company to help you, the same one I talked about in this video. So if you're interested in any of these products, I can also help you get connected to having those yourself. 
another thing I want to do is provide you with workouts like I said, I'm very much into high intensity interval training, functional fitness. You can do those workouts anywhere, whether it be at home, at the gym, wherever it is. I want to help you achieve your goals. Email me at greenjuiceandyogapants.com. You can comment on this video if you're interested in my coaching and I will be in touch with you as soon as I can. You do not have to be in the Sacramento or Fair Oaks area for me to be coaching you. I can do over the phone. We can do FaceTime. You don't have to be here at all. I have an awesome client in Texas who works with me so you don't have to be here i would love to help you get on the road to healthy thank you guys so much for watching this video if you got any sort of advice or content out of this thank you please click the subscribe button if it's something you want to do and i will see you in my next video